What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and this is my brand new 2018 Ducati Panigale V4S. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, in this video, I just wanted to show you guys, first I'll show you my new Ducati V4S, as well as show off some of the mods that I've done to the bike, as well as some of the mods I plan on doing to the bike. I'll just give you some of my first impressions of it so far. All right, so as you can tell from some of the badging, this is a Ducati V4S. We don't do basic over here. So, you know, we had to get the S model. So what that means is that it does come with the adjustable electronic Olin suspension, as well as the Brembo brakes. As far as the engine power goes, somebody in the comment section can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's putting down about 211 stock at the crank, and then at the actual wheel, you're probably getting only uh, somewhere in the neighborhood, as far as what I've seen, around 190 uh, in the high 180s, depending on how the bike is actually, you know, comes out the factory and tuned. Now, some of the things I love about this bike is, of course, the Ducati headlights. I think they look absolutely beautiful. I would turn them on and show them to you, but unfortunately, I killed my battery earlier while having them on while filming. So, uh, <laughs> sometime in the future, I'll actually be showing those off to you guys. But uh, also, I'll be showing you off how it sounds, even though it is still the stock exhaust. And uh, I can't imagine anybody really caring about how the stock exhaust sounds. But it sounds pretty decent for a stock exhaust. But yeah, let's talk about some of the mods that I've done to the bike. So uh, starting off at the top, I, I did pick up the new windscreen, the taller windscreen. I'm a pretty tall guy, about 6'2", so it's important for me to get a lot of coverage when getting in the tuck position. So I picked up the taller windscreen. I will be installing that uh, sometime in the near future. Uh, I did end up taking off the stock mirrors, so it might look a little bit different than some of the other V4 uh, S's that you've seen, and that's because, yeah, I took off those mirrors. So originally I did have the stop-offs here. Hadi Rizoma stoppers actually installed originally, uh, but what I ended up doing was uh, I wanted to make sure I was legal in case for some crazy reason I got pulled over. So I ended up installing just one for now. I'm gonna put the other one in later today. This is um, turn signal. <laughs> it's a rage turn signal. I can't believe I blinked on that. So it's just it's a front turn signal. I'll show you that it works. Of course, my battery's dead. But yeah, this is light comes out of the side here, and it's nice and bright. It's LED. You can see it uh, when I'm making turns. And if you know cops want to try to you know press me about anything, I'm good. Uh, then taking a look at the actual levers. So I actually uh, installed the CRG levers. So these are the carbon fiber shorty levers. I think they look super dope. They feel pretty good. They're not as good as the ASVs I have on my Honda, um, but I still think they are pretty damn good. Uh, and sticking around this area, you'll notice I do have the Rizoma uh, mirrors. I'll just get around so you see a little bit better. Um, I don't really like them. If I go around to the side here, they kind of take away from the clearance of the bike. So when you're squeezing in between uh, maybe some tight spots or between obstacles, you'll run into some clearance issues. So I plan on taking them off and either installing the ones that are um, folding or maybe not have any mirrors at all. I'll see, I really don't, I really don't like dealing with tickets and stuff. So I might keep them on. Okay, yeah, so I did end up installing the RNG tank grips. Now these are a beautiful thing, I think. Um, they work really well uh, and when I attach or when I, you know, lock my legs in, I grab onto the tank really nicely. And I highly recommend it, uh, if you plan on pretty much getting any bike, uh, the RNG tank grips, are, uh, they're a beautiful thing. Now, speaking of beautiful things, I just want to highlight this single-sided swing arm. Man, Ducati's really got this in the bag. I, I love this thing. This is one of the main reasons why I even picked up the bike. This thing is beautiful. But yeah, turning our tension up, I ended up installing the Rage uh, Fender Eliminator. So as you can tell, the tail looks nice and aggressive. Looks real nice. Uh, it does come with turn signals, so both left and right. So again, I'll probably, uh, once I can get the bike actually powered on, I'll show you guys. But yeah, it does come with that. So yeah, some, as far as some of the mods I plan on doing, like I mentioned, I'm gonna be picking up an exhaust. So uh, there will be an Austin exhaust in place of that stock exhaust. Maybe not this season because it's almost over. It takes like six weeks to ship. It's pointless to get it now. Probably got another month to ride. Uh, and then I'll be installing the new uh, windscreen, changing out some of the mirrors, and yeah, that's it. Uh, overall, as far as some of my thoughts on the bike, I mean, the thing is absolutely beautiful as far as physically or the, the, the way the bike actually looks. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, when it comes to just the power, it puts down so much power to the streets. I definitely pull on all my buddies who are riding S1Ks who are riding, uh, especially my buddy who's riding my, my Honda SP, definitely can pull on any of those bikes. So as far as pure power goes, it's really nice. As far as comfort goes, uh, it's really comfortable. It's not as comfortable as my Honda, but what I will say 
is that it runs hotter than the BMW S1000 double R. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that bike, but that bike runs nuclear. And this bike is even hotter. And I think one of the reasons why I ride so hot, and uh, I'm not a mechanic, or I really don't know a lot about like mechanical stuff, but this here, I think this is like um, maybe a radiator or where the water runs through, but this thing gets hotter than a motherfucker. So uh, this thing gets super hot, and this is where your legs kind of sit when you're kind of locked up on the bike. And uh, it, it is, it's, it's really hot. It might, the bike might, even, might not even run that hot, but I think because of this thing, I heard there's like a cover one of my buddies told me about you can get to kind of cut down on some of that heat. But uh, locking your legs up against this, if you're wearing anything like shorts are definitely a no-go. Uh, even thin joggers or jeans tend to burn a little bit. So honestly, a track suit and leather pants are kind of the only thing that you can be comfortable with uh, no matter what the weather is. So yeah, that's about it. Anyway, um, that's all I'm gonna say about the bike for now. There's gonna be plenty more videos coming out. Uh, me doing mods, me talking about some of the mods that I plan on doing uh, in the near future for the bike. Uh, but overall, super happy with it. It's a beautiful bike. Definitely get one if you can afford one, or if you just even if you can't afford one, still get one. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Once again, my name is Flan. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you guys in my next one.